Hey everyone, Notorious Squirrel here, hope you're all well. And today I was wanting to talk about these devices in front of me and the firmware for the devices. So without further ado, let's get at it. So here we have a couple of different devices. We have our go-to which everybody knows and loves. We have our Flipper Zero. And again, I'm running Momentum firmware on this, um, which I think is literally one of the go-to best firmwares you can do. I've tried various different ones, but it's always, I always come back to Momentum um, and it's got a web flasher and it's just, just too easy and too good not to use. So highly recommend getting onto that. And the community also is, is fantastic with that. We also have the AWOC Dual Mini V2 which is a flipper add-on, which we'll go into shortly. This is designed by AWOC, this is fantastic. We also have the Just Call Me Coco ESP32 C5 adapter and the C5 board. When you buy the adapter, you get the adapter on its own. You don't get the, the board, so you'd have to do that as a separate purchase, but we can go into that in a second as well. And then this little green thing over here is a CYD, or a cheap yellow display. Um, and I think these are possibly one of the most understated devices, I think, um, especially for people that are just getting into cybersecurity, just getting into hacking devices and flashing firmwares and playing around. For the price of this and its versatility, it, it should be in everyone's Christmas wish list. If you just get into it, it should be like one of the first things you you can get. Really, um, it's so cool. I I love this. This was a very early device that I got, and I still love playing around with it today. It's just so good. <laughs> I, I do really love it. So these devices and what we're we running on them. So I am running on all of these uh, Wi-Fi Marauder, um, and I've got Wi-Fi the version. Um, 184 on here and then I've got 188 and 187 on that one because I haven't updated that one yet so I need to update those but that's got the latest version which has got the C5 um, additions to it as well but if we go into the cheapest device first well let's talk prices so if I line these up and I'll line them up in price order essentially so if we start here cheap yellow display I've 3d printed a case so you have to get a, a case if you haven't got a 3d printer then the case is going to be 10 15 bucks or something like that but this device is roughly about 15 to 20 dollars on places like AliExpress so that's a really cheap easy one. and then once you've got that the firmwares are free so you can just flash those on and you can do ghost ESP which is a really good one as well to put on that and Bruce as well so you can just have at it with all different firmwares on this one and, and it's basically at 15 bucks it's a no-brainer then we go on to these two devices and for these two devices you need this which if you don't know is a flipper zero and um, if you don't know what it is obviously have a look into these because these are like one of the go-to goat devices in cyber security and pen testing devices and um, this thing will set you back at best actually Today, filming, it was $200, um, so depending on where you are in the world, obviously be careful where you are in the world, because I've heard stories of some custom agents sending a drill bit through and drilling the device and then letting you have it and find that nice surprise, so just be careful where you are and how you get an order these. Um, but yeah, the, the Flipper Zero, obviously deep dive into these are fantastic, but these two devices here are adapters for this device. So, bear in mind, $200, $200. So. The C5 adapter. The C5 adapter will set you back $30, and the board, um, C5 ESP32 C5 board, will set you back about uh, $15 to $20, depending on where you get it. And you want the dev board because you've got the header pins, so you can plug it into there. Um, that's that. So $15 to $20. These two together, you're talking about $50. So let's say the most you should be getting that for, really. And then the AWOC. Dual Mini, uh, the V3 is currently out and that's $160 at the minute. Um, again, this is a fantastic device. I haven't got the GPS module, there's a small ceramic GPS chip in there, but I need to get the, the ceramic antenna for this. Um, and again, this just slots in and it's a fantastic device as well. And then that. So, 
obviously $160, $50, $200. That rig together is a $360 setup. That rig together is a $250 setup. Obviously that is 15. These are amazing and this is cool as well. This is well worth $15 if you're just starting to play around with it. Obviously you're talking a lot more money once you start getting into these, but you do also get a lot more functionality as well. Oh, cheers. Yeah, these devices are so ro robust and so good. But again, if you just get into it and you're trying to find out if you like it or not, go with this one and it's a nice little device to have in. So with this, it doesn't have a battery pack. So, I use a little port pack and then I plug it in and then here you get your menu and this is all touch screen so it just whizzes through and to use this you just go in, go into your Wi-Fi attached, go into snippers and then you've got all these menus that you can go down and go through which is fantastic and you've got so many different attacks, scan APs, Pineapple, Wi-Fi pineapple, Pornagotchi's raw capture just to capture absolutely everything that's knocking about and you can sort of flip through your channels as well and see what's going on. So for pure glee this thing is fantastic. So that's that. The C5 come on to that after and the dual touch. Again this thing plugged in on these headers and it looks like something Batman would carry. When you get it, just make sure that you've got the Flipper Companion app on here. You go into Apps, go down to GPIO, go down to ESP and then you'll have a standalone Wi-Fi Marauder port and you'll see both screens popping up. Obviously that you can see I've got an older version on there at the minute and you can use both of these at the same time so you can be running one um, program or attack on this one whilst also doing something on here as well but again it's the same sort of concept go into here go down into sniffers and you've got all sorts that you can start to have fun and play with scan AP, scan all, sniff Corner gotchas again, hack it on it here, PM kid scans so you can start to talk cracking hashes and passwords, DO sniff to see what's about, probe requests, see what's all what's going on around in the ether. And again, really cool device, really good, like with these antennas and especially the GPS or war driving and all that kind of stuff. It's absolutely fantastic and I, I love that device, probably my favourite device that is, until I got this. And I love the dual screen on that, I love the, that was my favourite, now this is my favourite. You might have lost the second screen, but the things that this can do is insane. I, and I say insane, spell that all in capitals and then put some exclamation marks at the end of it. Just... <laughs> right, this will this will turn off all of your house internet and anyone around you. Um, so be careful with this. This is purely for educational purposes. So uh, yeah, this this will do things to 5G networks that no other device has ever dreamt of. And it's fantastic at it as well. So in order to use these and with the Wi-Fi Marauder, as soon as you get into it, go down to scan and if you want to do APs, I'm going to turn it away so you don't see mine, but you scan, you get the AP, you come down to list, then you enter list AP, again we'll lean that forward just to, and then you'll be given a number and it tells you the channel, it tells you the board, the DB, the sort of, it tells you um, sort of the signal strength of what you've got there so it tells me the channel so I can see what channel I want to do once you've gone into the list you go to select and I know I want index zero so now I've selected that and notice that you can select multiple as well with this so if you are wanting to attack multiple um, APs or you were somewhere where you were pen testing with multiple APs all you would need to do is in the selection in the, the command line 
prompts and it says select dash a and then you put zero that zero there is the index number of my ap if you just put a comma then the next number comma next number comma next number you can select multiple ap's to be able to either do whatever attacks the other attacks or whatever you're looking to do on that probe attacks and it will concentrate on just those target ap's so once you have that if you're also in a and you want to connect to the Wi-Fi and you know the password for that Wi-Fi we can connect to that as well so if I just so if I just connect to the Wi-Fi there bear with me luckily I've got nimble fingers and then, because it says index as well on here, so it'll say join, and the argument is dash A, and it'll say index. The index, again, is the number on the AP list that you've scanned. And this it says connecting to Wi-Fi, it says load map stuff, and then, yep, you'll get some lines, it'll say value, and it'll say, yeah, you're connected. So, now we're on. So now we're on to our Wi-Fi. We can go down to attacks, we can de off that if we want it, we can probe that now, rip roll it directly, and all these other cool little on this swift pair. The thing this doesn't do Bluetooth, not supporting Bluetooth yet. We can war drive, we can set evil portals. To set an evil portal with this, you just want to go in, which I've tested, but you want to find you want to have a set in index.html. So if I've got evil portals and now I've got a index.html. And what you want to do sometimes is rename these when you know you want to use one to index. Let your index. That says set. And then we've got that HTML set. And then from there we can do that. Go. And then we're on. So now if I go into a device, I look for a portal there, it will come up with the AP name that I've given it. And that is my evil portal set and ready to go. So just remember when you set that evil portal, you need to have it as an index dot html and then you're away make sure you've also got a, a sd card plugged into it as well or it won't work without that in it and that's since your eagle portal gone targeted beacons port scans actually now we're on a um, on a wi-fi network we can also start to oh no, i can't have the ip but yeah you can also start to scan do port scans as well. I'll have to go back into the Wi-Fi. But yeah, once you're on a Wi-Fi network, you can do the port scans on that as well. And then you can sniff beacons. All, all the stuff that you saw on the menu before. Bluetooth packets, flippers, pineapples, multi-SID. LED, GPS data. I mean, this is a fantastic war driver. The strength on this as a war driver is amazing. And you reboot in scripts yeah so there you are a basic rundown if there's anything specific you'd like to see with this or any other scans and things to do and um, please let me know obviously anything that you do scan when you're doing your pm kid scans or anything like that will save onto your sd card and then it's just a matter of just whipping that sd card out and having a look at that or connecting a uh, data cable into your device and then um, extracting that pre command line and um, so it all, all can be found on the marauder website and on their wiki and everything which is really in-depth really good wiki as well so hope that quick run through of some wi-fi marauder enabled devices has been okay please leave me some comments and notes give me some feedback let me know what you think um, and until next time please remember like and subscribe it really helps us squirrel out let me know what you're up to and how you're using these devices yourself peace